Robin Ayer here, and I'm going to be talking about a, a subject based on the incident in Japan. Whether that be, you know, whether you want to talk about the uh, tsunami or the earthquake 9.0, um, the thing that's going to be popping up in a lot of people's minds is going to be the nuclear problem. And when I beat my nuclear problem is right now there's uh, at least one reactor that's kind of melting down a little bit. And uh, to be fair, that's probably not an issue you have to really worry about. Um, worst case scenario, the you know, it, it melts down and it you know, it has the potential um, in, in the worst case, <laughs> very worst case, of having radiation come across to the west coast. Um, how do you know that you're going to have any radiation? And that's what this video is about. Basically, there's a lot of guys out there that want to rush out and buy one of these. This right here is one of the civil defense meters. And this actually right here is a, a CDV-715. Now, if you see these, you know, these, these are really cool. They, they, they really are. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, the only problem with this is this does not... Uh, this right here is a high-level radiation detector, not a low level. So if you're detecting radiation on this, it's too late. So I don't, I suggest that you, you know, if you don't have anything to detect radiation, well, don't buy this one. This one right here detects <laughs> radiation after the fact, basically. Uh, if, if you're detecting radiation with this, you've already been exposed. Bad thing. So, let's take a look at another one. I actually have uh, more than I'm going to show here, but I'm just going to show the, these three. And here's another one. This one right here is actually one of my favorites as, as far as the high levels. And this is the CDV-717. And this one right here is really, I've always liked this one because this is the one that you would take. And if you had a uh, fallout shelter, this is the one that you probably want to have. And, you know, this right here, once again, this is a high-level radiation detector. And, but what you would do is you would go ahead and this, this is two pieces. You go ahead and you can use it just like this, but normally you would go ahead and you open it up. These are all brand new, you know, and they're still stiff. So you open it up and you flip two latches and it comes in two pieces. Well, on the inside, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice a spool and take this pull out. What you're going to notice is, actually, I'm going to show you the bottom of this part. This is the, the top. And on that, it has a little, little connector. That connects to this connector. Oops. This connector in here. And that allows you to go ahead and you know, detect the high levels of radiation. But with this pool of wire, you can go ahead and unravel this, take one end, connect the the end to the bottom. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> you connect one end to the bottom and screw it together. And then the other end goes to the bottom of this. And that just plugs in. Now you have yourself an extension cord for your radiation detection, which is the good idea. <laughs> if you're detecting high levels. This right here would be placed outside your bunker or hung on a wall outside your bunker or something like that. And it allows you to go ahead and detect radiation safely just by using your meter, which hangs on the inside of the bunker. So that right there is what makes this pretty cool. But for what's going on right now, it's still basically useless. You're not going to detect anything with this at all. Um, it is... Yeah, this right here is basically used for nuclear attack. And, um, you know, would this detect radiation? It would if it was probably placed on top of, you know, where the reactor is. It would detect that. And it might even detect if it has high enough levels of radiation. It might just uh, detect that as well. But typically not from a distance or not much of a distance. And so this right here is not which you really should have if you want to detect radiation. And see if I can get this thing back together. 
Now what you want to have to detect radiation is a different one. And I'll show you that one. I do have one, like I said, I do have one more unit. And my other unit is the one with the uh, door right here. So you can go ahead and, and it's a little bit different radiation detector. So each one of these is used for you know, different things. But if you want to go ahead and actually detect low levels of radiation, uh, you can buy the the you know the the Russian models. There's a lot of Russian models out there that you know, little you know, LC little uh, LED type device, and uh, it's got a radiation detector in it. It's pretty basic, and you know, they're a couple hundred dollars something like that. Or you can go ahead and you can buy yourself one of these. This right here is is the actual one that detects radiation, and from the civil civil defense. And you can still get these, just like in this condition, you can get them from uh, eBay. And I don't sell them, so I'm not trying to get sales up or anything like that. But you can get, get these right here. Make sure it has the wand on top. It will always have the silver thing on top. And that just pops right off. I've got a little cord on it. And like this, you're able to go ahead and turn it on. I actually do have batteries in here. but I forgot my uh, headphones, <laughs> and without headphones, you're not going to hear anything. And that's the only bad thing about these. Um, let me go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. Right here is your little radiation detector. This is what you would use to pick up the radiation. This right here actually makes the clicking, clicking, clicking sound that you that you hear in the movies. You know, <laughs> you get the idea. And that right there is you know this is what you would normally think of when you think of radiation detection, this is the only one that will detect low levels. So if you buy one of these big ones, you're not going to be getting any use out of it. Unless we actually have a nuclear attack, but mm, that's unlikely. But this is the one that you want. And this right here is the CDV 700. Uh, I think they also made like a 702 or something like that, but go ahead and you know, check it online. Um, this right here is a, a nice little device to have, actually. I've used this not only to detect you know, radiation, which typically don't have any, but you do have a little check source on the side here, and you have just a little bitty speck of radiation, and this right here really goes off when you get this close to it. Now, there's two methods of operation with this on the silver part right here, or chrome part, uh, with the window open, that right there basically gathers any kind of radiation. If you go ahead and you close it, so there's no opening anymore just by turning it, then right there you're only getting gamma radiation, which is the dangerous, the really dangerous stuff. And so that right there is basically the one you're looking for. This right here is the, you know, it's the one with the little, little wand on it. And always make sure that you know what you're buying if you're, you know, if you're, in the mood to go ahead and purchase something, I'm just trying to make sure you don't go ahead and purchase the wrong thing. Something like this is not going to help you out detecting whether or not you're getting slight radiation exposure from Japan you know, through the wind after a, a terrible meltdown. It's not the case right now, so don't have to go ahead and jump on the bandwagon. But like I said, you know, you don't need this type. It's not silver. It doesn't have a silver handle. This one. No silver handle. This one, silver handle. So that's basically the visual indicator. Uh, as far as accuracy, is it accurate? It's probably quite accurate. Um, you can have these recertified, and it's you know, one or two hundred dollars to go ahead and, and have them certified again and make sure that they're you know, right dead on accurate. Um, so you know these these have never really been used except. Or like this one here was calibrated in 1993. It's probably been used only a couple of times since then, so it's probably really not out of calibration. Uh, it hasn't been dropped or anything like that, and it's still in really good condition, so it probably is close enough for my use or yours. So you know, if you're going to be thinking about the radiation hazard, and you know, a lot of people are thinking more about radiation, what could happen. A lot of preppers out there, and they may be thinking about buying something like this. And like I said, you know, don't get this type with, without the silver handle. It's not going to do you any good. If you detect radiation with this, you're done. Yeah. 
with this one right here. This is the remote one. If you detect with this one, as long as you're in a bunker, hey, you're fine. But how many have bunkers? Mm -hmm. So, once again, only get the one with the silver handle if you're interested in getting in them, any of them. They're about a couple hundred dollars um, and they're probably going up in price rapidly as we speak. So, there you go. Just a, a quick introduction to the uh, CDV700, the CDV715, and the CDV717. And I got another one. And I can't remember which CD V number it is. So there you go. Any comments or questions, or leave it below. I don't know if I can answer all of them because I'm not really sharp on these. Uh, but I've had these for uh, quite some time now, and I can let you know what these things do. So, and yes, they do work. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to rate. I'm Weaponier, and I'll catch you in the next video. What you want, what you want, what you want.